Welcome back to Havana Media. My name is Bonfessor Wino and as usual I'm going to be your host for today. Now, let me start by asking this question. <laughs> Where will people like Kimani Chungwa put their heads? Okay, how we, how we, how are they going to react because I I've, I've been listening to Justice. Eh? I've been listening to to Justice Chacha Mwita uh, saying that the petition as uh, states that uh, the, the resolution passed by the National Assembly is invalid on several grounds and the impeachment motion is uh, replete with the general and unsupported allegations. And he's going ahead by saying that uh, having considered uh, the arguments of the of the parties and the jurisdiction relied on this court has jurisdictions to hear whether the conservatory order should be granted it's like now the the, the, the judiciary the, the, the court is going to make a decision whether the, the, the whether, whether whether because we know very well that Rigathi Gashagwa took uh, Rigathi Gashagwa took the 26 cases uh, to the to the to court preventing the senators from hearing his, his statement but i think even this even the senators would have done the same would have uh, pr protected him but uh, i don't know because uh, as it stands or as it's, it's said that even uh, amazon king that is the speaker of the of, of the of the of the of the senate was already taken some some bribe is one of the signatories for the <laughs> for the for the shareholding of the government I think that is why Rigathi Gashagwa decided to run to, the, to, to, to uh, at least to protect himself at the court by saying that uh, these cases, these cases that the senators are, that, that have been presented before the Senate are wrong and uh, they were done in, uh, in a biased way. I want us to listen to Justice Chacha before I come out so that we can continue with what we're talking about. States that a motion dated 26th of September 2024 was tabled in the National Assembly on 1st of October proposing his removal from office as Deputy President of the Republic by impeachment. The motion, the National Assembly, allowed the motion on 8th of October 2024 at 9 p.m. On the same night, the clerk of the National Assembly transmitted the resolution to the clerk of the Senate. The petitioner states that the resolution passed by the National Assembly is invalid on several grounds. These include that the impeachment Impeachment motion is replete with general and supported allegations, hearsay, and outright lies without particularization, and specificity as required by Article 145, sub Article 1 of the Constitution, and Standing Order Number 64 of the National Assembly Standing Orders. The petition further states that the National Assembly did not conduct a constitutionally compliant public participation prior to passing a constitutionally no prior to passing the impeachment motion and the impeachment motion did not also meet the threshold in article 145 sub article 1 among other grounds the petition no right now i understand now i understand why people people like moses kimari chungwa are very much oppressed with with the with the regarding the and they want to get the to get out of office you know it is so funny that uh, they are even going after the person who was who did not vote for the impeachment of the who is coming from Mount kenya it is very funny that uh, <laughs> let me just read for you this uh, the insiders report barrier trb uh, TIRB is reporting that there are plans by William Ruto and uh, ML Kimani Chungwa uh, to remove Honorable Ndini Nyoro from budget chairpersonship position. This comes after Ndini Nyoro failed to show up during the impeachment against Deputy Rigari Gashagwa. So this one is a very clear indication that uh, Kimani Chungwa is targeting a lot of positions. After after <laughs> you know this thing is just connecting let us just connect these things now right now okay initially regard kimani chungwa was fighting on how he can replace either kituri kindiki uh, for to in the in the position of cs of interior and uh, in, uh, because if at all kituri kindiki will have been elevated to become the deputy president then his position will have been back vacant giving room for kimani chungwa to replace him i want us to go slowly by slowly Suppose Kituri Kindiki, suppose Rigathi Gashagwa was impeached or would have been impeached. So the position of the deputy, president, deputy president would have been vacant. And that is why Kimani Chungwa was fighting so that Kituri Kindiki becomes the deputy president. If the deputy president, if Kituri Kindiki becomes the deputy president, his positions remains vacant. 
So if at all his position remains vacant, it means that Kimani Chungwa will, will be elevated to take the position of Kimani Chungwa or Kituri Kindiki as the CS of Interior. That was the initial plan. Now something is happening here. Now, let me say, read for you what is happening. Kituri Kindiki has been forced to step down from the race to succeed Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa because President Ruto's gatekeepers are demanding an outrageous of 500 million Kenya shillings to lobby for him, a sum that Kituri Kindiki simply doesn't have. <laughs> so that is it. These people have said, the gatekeepers have said that if Kituri Kindiki wants to be elevated to replace the Gashago as the deputy president, then he must give us a sum, a sum of 500 million. So Kituri Kindiki have decided now, okay, I don't have that money, let me step down. So Kituri Kindiki have stepped down from now the, to, buy for the deputy, to, to become the deputy president. Now the position of Kituri Kindiki, which Imad Chungo was targeting, is not vacant again. Deputy President Rigathi Gashago is not impeached. His position is still intact. Kithuri Kindiki's position is still intact. So Kimani Chungwa is still looking for somewhere that he can, he can get into. The target of Kimani Chungwa is to get out from being an MP to be elevated. Now, right now, is go, now he has gone. He has, he has, he has been looking on how he, he has been looking on how he can, he can be elevated. Now, the way of Kithuri Kindiki is blocked. Is looking for another way. Uh, the way that it is now looking for is the position that is being held by Dindi Nyoro. And this is what he's saying. They are saying very well that President William Ruto together with the Kimani Chungwa are targeting on how <laughs> uh, they are targeting on how Dindi Nyoro can be removed from the budget chairpersonship position. Now, if they succeed to remove Ndini Nyoro from the, from the, from the chairman, chairperson of the, of the budget, what will happen is that Kimani Chungwa will take his position. Now, the, 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 the excuse that they are giving is this. Ndini Nyoro is, an, is, a, is a UDA a member of parliament. First of all, one mistake that he did, he failed to attend the the voting the parliament meeting during the day that they, they were voting, the members of parliament that were voting. Now, the expectation of people like Kimani Chungwa and perhaps President William Bruto was that if Ndini Nyoro attends the meeting, he would vote to remove Rigadi Gashagwa from office. Let us all not forget that uh, uh, initially there was this uh, the, there was this issue that if at all Rigadi Gashagwa is removed from office, possibilities of somebody like Nini Nyoro replacing him was very high. And then Nini Nyoro all of a sudden came and changed his mind and said that he doesn't want that, he doesn't want that position. So what is happening right now? What is happening right now is that Kimani Chungwa is now joining, joining forces again with William Ruto to remove Ndini Nyoro from his office simply because he did not vote, he did not attend, and he did not vote for the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa as the deputy president. That is what is happening. That is, that is now the, the way this thing is, the way now there is a lot of confusion in, the, in, in this country. Being, 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 co being caused by Kimani Chungwa. Kimani Chungwa wants to be everywhere. He wants to be everywhere. That is why he is working so hard on how these people can be impeached. He's working so hard on how the Chagwa can be impeached so that he can be elevated. The only thing that is disturbing this guy is to be elevated. He just wants to be elevated to a higher office. There is also another thing that is happening. <laughs> uh, this is now is coming from Mwengi, Mutu, Mwengi Mutuse. This is the man that uh, took the motion that was being used as a puppet to take the motion that was used by people like Kimani Chungu to take the motion to the parliament about the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. This is what he's saying. I am expecting communication from State House and I am and if I do not receive it by the end of the day, I may not appear in the Senate tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, fellow Kenyans, this thing is not as easy as people think. Because now things are, have started now unfolding. This is the person, remember, Mwengi Mutisa is the person that took this motion to parliament about the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. Now, being that is the person that took the motion to the parliament, I think he's also expected to go to the Senate tomorrow to present his case together with the people like Koti and Amolo and others. Now he's saying that he is expecting a call from the state house. From who? 
That is the question. You are expecting a call from the state house. From who? Who is supposed to call you within the state house? And why are they supposed to call you? You presented a case. Now, at the, at the member at the, at the, at the national assembly at, at, the, at the national assembly level, this person was impeached by the members of parliament. Now, the case has been taken now to a higher level, and you are expected also to be there because you are the person that took this motion to the parliament. And now you are saying that I'm expecting a call from the state house. I'm expecting someone to communicate with me from the state house. If at all I, I, I will not receive the call by the end of the day, I will not attend this next meeting. <laughs> Things are becoming hotter. I don't know, by the way, I really don't know why. I really, I really don't know. And I've also seen uh, Linturi saying that uh, I cannot accept to be given a job by William Ruto. I rather wait for people of Meru to give me a job, but any job that is being given by William Ruto, I cannot accept. I really don't know what is going on, by the way. I really don't understand what is going on right now in this country, especially during this time of the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. Please let me know what you think at the comment. That is all I have for today. Let me also know what you think at the comment section. But just a reminder if you are meeting for the first time, don't forget to take a minute, go down there, click the subscribe button. You can also like, share, and open a comment and tell me what you think and where you're watching this video. And if at all you're watching this video from a different platform, please don't forget to come. Just type Havana Media YouTube. It will bring you to our bio. And then don't forget to always click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. So that any moment there is a video that we have uploaded, it will be very, very easy for you to get the video. After all, guys, that is all for today. Let us meet in the next video. If it is possible, I've been your host, Bonfessowino. Bye-bye.